Let's work together to inspire communities of song that sing together for the joy of doing it and to the glory of God. The organist as instiller of faith. Music is an amazingly powerful tool. There is a reason that we teach our kids the ABCs, not by just repeating the letters, but by teaching them a song. It's because music locks into memory facts and figures that otherwise might not be memorable. And we teach kids faith the same way. Jesus loves me, this I know, for the Bible tells me so. We don't just tell kids that, we teach them the song. So let's be careful about what we instill in our congregational memories. Let's look carefully at the texts that we sing. to this tune is for the fruits of all creation for the fruits of all creation thanks be to God for the gifts to every nation thanks be to God for the plowing sowing reaping silent growth while we are sleeping future needs in earth's safekeeping. Thanks be to God. In the just reward of labor, God's will is done. In the help we give our neighbor, God's will is done. In our worldwide task of caring for the hungry and despairing, in the harvests we are sharing. God's will is done. For the harvests of the Spirit, thanks be to God. For the good we all inherit, thanks be to God. For the wonders that astound us, for the truths that still confound us, most of all, that love has found Thanks be to God. Here's another text that I love, usually set to King's Fold, the tune that goes like this. Sometimes I think it's important to separate text and tune because this text I think is so profound that although that tune is lovely, I think it can carry the text along and we don't appreciate fully all of the nuances of this text. Here's the text, it's by my friend Jackie B. Jones. Creator of the intertwined, you made us all unique, each one with ears to hear faith's call, each one with voice to speak. Each worships where the call is heard, in forest, temple, dome, on mountaintop, in upper room, each one must find a home. 
The song of peace is sung by all. Strength grows from unity. In harmony, we celebrate your gift, diversity. Can we not sing each other's songs, speak unfamiliar prayer, rejoicing in the riches found in differences we share? In evil's wake, we all are hurt. When pricked, all humans bleed. With common wounds and shared despair, we seek the balm we need. We should not ask before we reach to offer our embrace. We do not ask, how do you pray? We reach with arms of grace. Teach us to cherish what is strange and so the richer be. To listen with our hearts and speak with loving honesty. From different sources, comfort comes. Each seeks for the divine. Your voice speaks many languages. Just one of them is mine. So if you are charged with choosing hymns or choosing stanzas of hymns, I implore you to choose wisely. Don't just default to your favorites or the congregation's favorites, and don't just default to singing the first and last stanza. If you do that, you can miss important stories of faith. And if you choose the wrong stanzas, you can miss the drama of the story that's contained within the hymn. God of Abraham prays. This is a hymn that's full of praise. And so it doesn't really matter if we leave out certain stanzas. I would encourage you to look at internal stanzas to mine the riches that are held there. It's safe to choose any stanza. him with many crowns. Another hymn that is full of praise. But in this case, maybe it takes five stanzas to adequately express our praise. Don't rob the congregation of that opportunity. Some hymns tell a story. This text set in this hymnal to the tune St. Catherine is by a pastor, musician, friend, former executive director of the Hymn Society in the United States and Canada, Carl Daw. Leaving her water jar behind, the woman ran from Jacob's well. Her daily chores had fled her mind, for she had wondrous news to tell. Forsaking what had drawn her first, she quenched instead a deeper thirst. Come, see a man who told me all that I have ever claimed or done. Such wisdom from his lips did fall. Could this be God's anointed one? Her neighbors heard, and then with her ran to meet this wise and holy man. When Jesus spoke, his words brought life, like water poured on shriveled seed. His truth as piercing as a knife, his grace yet greater than their need. So they prevailed on him to stay and teach them more another day. By all the wells of our own day, this Jesus waits to meet us still. 
where our pretenses fall away when we ask him our lives to fill. Come with your thirsty heart and mind. You too may leave your jar behind. I don't know how you would eliminate any of those stanzas. Each one ends like the chapter of a good book. Each one ends with us wanting to know more. I think we have to sing all four. So it might be that you want to sing all five stanzas of this hymn to reiterate again and again to yourself, to strangers, to your guests. Let this house proclaim from floor to rafter. All are welcome. All are welcome. All are welcome in this as instiller of faith. 